So when we start learning web development, we build small projects like to-do apps, weather apps or maybe a blog app but in real world production, things are way different. So today I will show you exactly how I structure my production guide websites and the best practices I follow to keep them scalable and maintainable. And I promise you about the end of the video, you will get the complete guide on how production websites are actually built. So this is one of my production websites called codesex.in. So basically a package manager, you can see it as a package manager, which actually builds some packages which reduce the development time of the developers very drastically. So this is the website which I built and it is already in the production mode. You can see uh, it is already hosted in the domain and it is hosted, I hosted this entirely in VPS server basically. So now let's dive into the code base of this project. So at the top level, I organize everything into three core folders. Then the first thing is the front end, the back end, and the email. So all three are built in different frameworks. You can use your own framework that doesn't depend. So the thing is, the organization is important. So you can see here, as I told, the back end, email, front end is the main three core folders. And guess what? You can set up these folder structures entirely without time consuming, basically in under one minute. So in the end of the video, I will show you that how. So for now, let's dive in. So now let's zoom into the backend and where the magic happens actually. So this is the index.js where the entry file it is, where I configure the environment variables as you can see here, nothing but I resolve the path where the environment variables are actually present inside the config and config.env, okay? So, and there is also database folder where actually I set up the connection. So how you set up the connection in MongoDB or any other irrespective database like that. Similarly, you can set up that doesn't depend basically you can set up. So here I used Firebase. That's why I set up the Firebase connection you can see here. And the next thing is in the index.js defining the routes basically. So use the middlewares to define the routes basically. So I define middlewares for every routes, for every separate routes. Basically I created the separate routes. So you can create as many as possible routes. I created separate routes for authentication, error, feedback, payment, etc, etc. So, and when it comes to design the database schema, like how you will design the schema in the MongoDB or any other NoSQL databases. Similarly, I created the schema inside the models directory and inside the directory I created user schema and subscription schema you can see here this is basically I created in firebase you can create in any database doesn't depend on anything it is irrespective of the database okay and the next is routes so this is the main thing where I declare many routes so if we go inside the authentication routes you can see here again i defined the call like what is that dot uh, env file for the con in environment variables and i defined many routes basically for sign up login etc so this is for o authentication nothing but google and facebook so like this similar in the payment routes also but all the functions or routes whatever here declared are related to payment and here it is all related to authentications so this is the main thing here and for in the routes i also declared the middleware functions basically which are declared in the middleware which you already know in the development mode how you do the same the thing so here i defined a function which will authenticate check the user is authenticated or not by using the cookie so and the next part is the controllers which we can say it as a brain of the backend without this all the logics are handled here so if we go inside the any auth controller so here also you can define like separate controllers for authentication payments and even for sub payments like uh, if, if there are two communicators like crypto and UPI you can set up two authentication routes sorry two controller routes basically I define two control files like crypto controller for crypto payment only and payment controller for to handle the razor pay or UPI you can see it as so inside all control you can see I define many functions like sign up login all functions are like the length of all functions are depends on how the logics you will write so this is basically a very secure authentication system if you want tutorial let me know in the comment section i will try to bring the tutorial in upcoming videos so you can see there are many like functions it all dependent on firebase basically you can use mongodb also or any database just the logic and authentications are should be handled inside the authentication controller if it is authentication related functions 
and the next is payment controller where all the payment functions are handled here this is all handled for razor pay so for the crypto i handled here you can see all the crypto payment what are the crypto payment related so if i want to show the crypto payment how it is handled so just a minute so as you can see here if i choose plan basically so it will relate to the crypto and you can select number of months and just if you click on pay now button so basically i didn't log in so that's why it detected so you need to log in before completing or selecting the payment so my network is also gone so i will sign in through the google so th these are my gmails don't text to any gmail i will hide in the video so you can see the login function is the so i successfully logged in basically so you can say successfully logged in so if i just choose any payment method like for example if i choose crypto payment method it will prompt basically the crypto coins whichever you can see you can see you can pay through these many coins you can include bitcoin also but i not included so that doesn't depend so after paying you can pay through any payment gateway like sorry any coin so it may be dodge it may be bitcoin anything so after printing the it will verify the payment and if it's successful your subscription will be successful basically this is the payment gateway of crypto basically so this is how i integrated the crypto payment gateway as you can see so these are the functions which handle the payment which handle the whatever i said which handles the entire crypto thing handles here basically that is a single logic so entire crypto is handled the entire server side of the crypto is handled here basically so and the last but not least is utils functions where little util utility functions are written here it might be small functions so i written here like generate token and share cookie in the back end server basically and send mail function which is used for only development mode why because i use node mailer here to like create the function for send mail and the node mailer won't work in the production mode so that's why i created separate server in python for email system which i will which i will show you in the upcoming parts so stay tuned till that and the last is views basically this is nothing but i used ejs templates nothing but i created templates for emails so basically if the login is successful so i will send the welcome template basically so i created some html template so welcome message i will send to the email so if the user suppose forgot on the password if he resets i will send after resetting the password successful so i will send this password reset so like this there are so this is the basically overall structure of the backend like how the server is handled for this production code is explored in website so like this server is handled so in the upcoming video i will show you the front end and email part also so now let's come to the bonus like one minute setup if you want this structure enter to be ready in one under one minute so i made a short tutorial on this so i will link a video to the disc i will link a video to that in the description basically so if you learned something so smash that like button and it helps so much basically and comment below on what next you guys want if you want a full authentication tutorial or crypto payments deep dive like how to how I integrated crypto payments or production email setup which i will be discussing in the upcoming video definitely so and thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video